What's up? It's your boy Dynas. At the end of this video, make sure you go to www.dynasbeer.com. Check out our digital stuff and art, jewelry, fashion, and accessories. Also, go to searchforguru.com. Learn more information on the documentaries we're shooting. Also, contribute towards those documentaries. Last but not least, go to amazon.com. Search your name, Dynas Mirror. Buy a book. I've written several of them, so please support and buy one. I wanted to shoot this video today on, you know, dashikis, or more, to be more specific, this dashiki print that's common here in America is nothing more than the Chinese food that they serve, that they serve us here in America. You know, what people don't understand, General South chicken and orange chicken is not real Chinese food. When you go to a Chinese restaurant, if you want that authentic Chinese food, you ask to see the Chinese menu. And there's a specific menu with authentic Chinese food. You know, the general salad, the orange chicken, and you know, everything else that you get at a Panda Express, or that they serve in these Chinese restaurants is not real Chinese food. So same thing with these dashikis. Okay, when you go to Africa, rarely do you see Africans wearing this specific dashiki print that's very popular here in America or in the UK amongst the diaspora or black Americans or black people in the UK. But it's passed off as if it's, you know, I guess authentic. Even though African print for the most part, unless it's kente cloth, is really produced in Africa anyway. But this specific print is not even worn in Africa. You rarely see it. And if so, and the thing is, when you go to Africa, okay, what I like to do personally is I like to blend in as much as possible. Even with my tattoos, they do not know I'm a black American until I open my mouth, until they come, they come up to me and speak the language and I can't respond. But you can tell a black American or, or, or somebody who's not from Africa when they come to Africa and they wear that, that this, the specific dashiki print that's in the avatar. Or you know what I'm talking about. You know, you can just tell when they get off the plane and they have on that specific, this specific type of dashiki print, you already know they're not from there. So that's why I don't even wear it. Again, I want to blend in as much as possible. Even with my tattoos. Even with my tattoos, they still think I'm from there. But the minute someone black is walking through the streets of Nairobi or walking through the streets of Dakar or Katanu and they have on this specific type of dashiki print your cover's blown. They know you're not from there. You can't even pass as uh, being from or you know being I guess Beninese or Beninese or Senegalese or Kenya or anything like that once you have on that print. They already know you're not from there. It makes you stick out like a sore red thumb. So again, the dashiki African print, this style, okay, is nothing more, okay, it's the exact same as the Chinese food that they serve us here in America. Because again, it's general sound chicken, orange chicken, sesame chicken is not authentic Chinese food. Okay, if, once you go to, if you want to go to Africa, you want to travel to Africa, and you want to blend in and not blow your cover, I mean, it doesn't matter. You're black American in Africa, it doesn't matter. But still, if you want to blend in as much as possible, do not wear a dashiki. In fact, I don't even know where the term dashiki comes from because when I'm in Africa, no one, the indigenous Africans call it by a different name. You know, whether in Benin or in, in Senegal, like in Senegal, it's called a kafetan. So I, I don't know where the term dashiki even originated from. But that's for another video. We'll, we'll, we'll research that. Because when you go to any country, they have their own term for it. Term for it. But black Americans are, blacks in diaspora call it a dashiki. So, again, dashiki, dashiki print is not common or popular in Africa. Again, when you go to these countries, they don't wear that this specific type of print. So I just wanted to shoot a video on that today because I keep, I keep seeing this. Uh, I keep seeing people wearing dashikis here in America 
and I'm just looking to myself, I'm just saying to myself, like, they know the word that in Africa, but here in America, they pass it off as it's, as it being, you know, traditional African attire, but it's not even traditional African attire in Africa. So how did it become traditional African attire? The same way people pass, you know, general style chicken as being authentic Chinese food, and it's not. So follow me on social media, search for Huru on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, or Facebook. Bye to Samir, next time I'm out.